everyone, I am Dream Sleever, and this is my blind playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Now this is early access, so there will be bugs, but we will soldier through them and report them to Larian so that they can get on fixing those. There may be some funny bugs too, so we can get some amusement out of those, but it is early access. I'll be doing this in a Kingdoms of Amalur re-reckoning playthrough, so I hope you guys look forward to that and taking my Guild Wars 2 playthrough to Twitch. Without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? I always like to go into the settings to make sure everything's right at the beginning. I will be quiet during cutscenes and cinematics, except when my character speaks. So that is why I'm completely quiet on the cinematics. Because I want you guys to experience this as I do. So in character creation, I'm going with my character Canis. He is a tiefling. He's based off of my Dragon Age character. And I already know what facial features and such that he has and skin tone and everything. So I'm getting right to it on here. I'll do a separate video showing you guys what it the character creation is like. I will show you these backgrounds here, and then I'll show you which one I went with for Canis. Now, Canis is an outlander in 
Dragon Age, he is a Vishoth who was born to Tal Vishoth, but raised by Fog Warriors. That is why I decided on Outlander for him, because he's such an outsider. He doesn't really know much about living in the city, and he's not Baldurian. So he's been in the city for just a little bit. He spent most of his time in the wilds. And he was just getting used to city life. Because, um... I know that um, your character starts out from being in Baldur's Gate, from what I can tell. And then they get abducted. I won't spoil it any more than that. But the abduction should be pretty obvious. Help. A tidy slot, but no room. I do hope that in the final version of this, they will allow for stubble as well. In Dragon Age, Canis is a rogue. So, I'm going for the ranger class, and there is a sort of like mage hunter specialization to it. I don't know a whole lot about D&D, so I'm just going by what I know. This one, I'm going with a human male, and he's based off of another character of mine, Cyrelian. Cyrelian is a mage. He's got curly red hair and dark skin. I can finally make my boy in this character creation. They actually have curly hair options, which makes me absolutely ecstatic. Notice how the music changes. I have no idea of the significance of this character. Possibly a romance? I might assume, but I'm not sure.
really enjoyed the cinematic there. The detail in the dragons and all the action. Oh. Escape the Nautiloid. We've been abducted by mind flares and infected with some kind of parasite. We need to find a way off this ship. I'd still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Not getting back in that thing. I autosave quite a bit in case the game crashes or something, or I do something that I regret. Someone else got out. There might be other survivors. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. And Candace decides to leave it alone. So we're gonna loot everything because I am a lootaholic. <laughs> Creepy voice. Oh, I can sit in the chair. <laughs> Just gonna sit here the rest of the day. <laughs> Curious. Curious. Brains. Brains. Love rolling the die. <laughs> we, are here. we are trapped. We got some gold. Help us. Focusing on all the gubbins first. Before I talk to the creepy brain thing. <laughs> Release us. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Please. 
you notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Please, before they return! They return. Canis is going to use his medicine skill to attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling. skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Canis will use this opportunity. seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. What is at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. What should I call you? All right, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. That gruesome, creepy brain dog. <laughs> it's the best I could call it. <laughs> Trying to click on it. And then it ended up staying there, and I didn't realize. in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Transform? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, 
Unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, mind flayers. Is the helm our way out of here? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our Geich captors. We are turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. Onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. I love being an archer. <laughs> you can see I'm a ludoholic. I'm going to look at all of this stuff later on. See what we've got. I feel better.
And that's when I found out the brain was all the way over there. <laughs> We're gonna do some moving of this brain back to the group. Then we'll be back. That'll do it for part one of the escape from the Nautilus in my Baldur's Gate blind playthrough of early access. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And there will be more videos like this soon. I'm going to continue with this one, Kingdoms of Amalur, and eventually Cyberpunk 2077 as well. Likes, comments, and subscriptions are all appreciated and they cost you nothing and they help me out a lot. And tell me how I did, as this is my first real Let's Play, and I'm very, very new to this, so... I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So catch me there if you're wanting to see more of my gameplay. To just hang out. I have a Twitter where I will post my updates, as well as a website where I'll post my videos as well, so be sure and check those out. Links are below. I'm also a part of the Nest and Quack Pack Discords, if you're interested. And I will post my videos on there as well. Some excellent people to hang out with. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video, where we'll be continuing to escape from the Nautilus. Dream Sleeper out.